Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news from update, where today we're going to be discussing and debating Alton Towers 2022. Now we've already done a video months ago about what I think could be the additions or changes for the 2022 season at Alton Towers. Now what I haven't discussed is potential investment routes that I think they should go down. So the first video a few months ago was talking about, um, you know, what would be ads or changes realistically. This is what I want to see. This is what I dream of seeing for next season in terms of potential investment routes. Obviously, I'm not going to go down all of them, but it's potential investment routes. So, before we get started, guys, please like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on all of this. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Check the description for social media links in the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas for the channel. If you are at Alton Towers Resort on the 28th of June, Make sure you spot me because I will be there in my probably Donny Rovers mask or something like that. And for now, guys, let's have a look at what my potential investment routes are for me for the 2022 season at the Alton Towers Resort. The Resort of Magic. So the first site in question is Nemesis Subterra. You all knew this was going to happen in this video and be discussed in this video. Now, obviously this attraction is a big attraction site to fill. And uh, this really is the potential opportunity here to, to sort of rebirth this attraction. This is one investment route that I would personally go down because... I think the overall Nemesis Subterra really is a top attraction. Obviously, it opened back in 2012. It's your worst nightmare um, underground. And, you know, I, I feel like they can rebirth that. I think there's a chance to bring that back to life, especially with the, obviously, the queue lines in place and the map. Uh, obviously, this is taken from the Alton Towers map. I don't know if this is a sign, but the queue line... I mean, the queue line's probably been in place ever since the attraction closed on the website anyway on the map. So, I think it's probably just one of those things that's already been there. Uh, but I, I must have remembered not seeing the queue line in the last map last year. But, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't remember seeing the queue line in place on the map last year in the app. Especially on the app. So... Um, I think Nemesis of Terror could be one potential investment route, bringing it back to life either with the same ride system or bringing in a new ride system from maybe a different manufacturer. If it's true that the rumours that the old ride system is out of play, well, is, is out of there or covered up. Um, we don't know what's in there for now. We don't know if the ride system's still in there. We don't know if it's been removed. If so, a new one could go in place. But I'd like to see this attraction come back to life. Um, and I'd like to see it uh, being reborn, which would be a great investment route for Alton Towers Resort. Next up, Nina Science Lab building. This is another big attraction site because uh, obviously CBB's Land hasn't had a brand new ride now. Well, in 2022, it'll be three years uh, since Peter Rabbit Hibbity Hop. Uh, the two family drop towers located uh, sort of in between the uh, Mr. Bloom's allotment and Tree Food Tom training camp. Uh, now, Nina's Science Lab hasn't been touched for a good few years now. Closed in 2017 as part of that, you know, Towers Living Care pro I think it was part of that Towers Living Care program anyway. Um, now, what could they do in here? Well, they could take a current CBB show. I may need to do the research on what shows are on CBBs nowadays to get a sort of idea about what IPs they could use to bring a new attraction into the building. But I think an interactive walkthrough attraction, similar to what Nina's Science Lab was. If you didn't know what it was, basic. I, I, I never got to try the attraction, but basically what it was was you go in and you you, you basically test your five senses really, uh, the touch, the smell, uh, the taste. Um, the sight and the hearing so you take you tested all five senses in different ways so for smell for example i think there was like smell pods uh, from what i heard from reviews so there were smell pods in there and you were hearing different sounds and feeling different things and it's a very interactive walk through attraction i'd like to see the same thing again here and i think you know you look at black mirror labyrinth at thought park could you imagine a family kids themed mirror maze a safe mirror maze to 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 put in that building i think it'd be a really good idea so uh, again this could be a potential investment route and one to watch now this is the first of two parts of an investment now um the first part is this site just here uh, the Cuckoo Cars Driving School, and you can see I've also circled uh, a couple of buildings opposite the Driving School. Uh, that is the, I, think, I don't know what's in those buildings currently, but I knew there was like a, sh I met a big shop or something like that, or a, or a doll's house. Or so there's something like that back in the 90s in that massive purple building that's been circled. But if you take out the Driving School, if you're not going to retheme it, if you're going to take it out, 
which I don't see the point in, by the way, because it was only refurbished a few years ago. But anyway, if they took that out, you have a big space there for like a family roller coaster. But I would probably see preparations start for that in 2022 and then add it in 2023, whether it's a family boomerang or just something themed to, to the world of David Williams. Uh, but another route to go down would be to retheme the driving score and put something in the buildings, maybe join uh, that building just next uh to uh the purple building and actually bring it together as one building now i could be wrong um but um i, I personally feel like you know they could put again like the nina science lab building um they could put like an interactive walkthrough attraction um you know in there and i think there's a real opportunity to do that so again that's a potential route but that's not the only part of world david williams that i could see being invested in the next part is on your screen right now and that is of course uh the theater space now of course there's two different routes to go down a flying theater or a live show in my opinion a flying theater dark ride would be incredible it'd be a fantastic road to go down use like grandpa's great escape or a different show from the world david williams bring it into a flying theater experience and let the guests soar like your grandpa escaping uh now another route to go down is the live show route uh bring in the david williams books or one of the david williams books turn it into a live show get the crowds back in there uh, steadily gradually at a secure rate uh, and there's a real opportunity to do that. So I think there's potential a couple of routes there with the theatre building. However, I think that's, again, another potential uh, investment route. Now, the last of the investment routes starts off in the world of David Williams, but continues around the rest of the park. And I think you know what I mean by this. There it is on your screen now. The first of four. It's the retro... Well, this is the, the, one of the old... One of the temporary flat rides, the Flavio's Fantastic Fandango. Uh, I do see that staying personally, uh, and then maybe replaced with a more permanently themed version and then you have the other ones which i'm going to throw on your screen while i talk about this it is of course the retro squad again there were big hits to uh, stretch out the capacity this season at the alton towers resort they were a really big part of helping the capacity issues during covid time and helping stretch out uh, the capacity crowds uh, to make sure there wasn't any long queues and the socially distance stuff remains in the queue line so there was a real opportunity with that one and uh, yeah i feel like you know they were a massive success for the park uh, i think what they could do with this is replace them with permanent flat rides so for example the roller disco site you could have a, a permanent flat ride theme to the dark forest mixtape uh, replaced with a, an x sector themed ride and uh, fun can fly replaced with um with some kind of maybe a, a forbidden valley type flat ride maybe something themed to like the the aftermath story of ripsaw or something something like that but i do feel like there's real potential here now if these don't if these permanent flat rides don't open in 2022 i would like to see them being worked on halfway through 2022 again like with the potential of driving school being removed for a family coaster in that second half of the cook Cloud Cuckoo Land site, uh, which is now World David Williams, maybe start preparing it halfway through 2022 and get it ready for 2023. So I feel there's real potential here, but again, that's another investment route, and I think all the investment routes are very realistic. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the investment routes that I think will be realistic dream routes for me for 2022. Obviously, a lot of family stuff in there, but you've got to remember, massive new area that went in with a brand new dart ride this year. So you've got to think they're going to be turning down the investments this year, uh, for next year. Uh, and then, obviously, in a couple of years' time, it'll get ramped up again, fingers crossed. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much. I'm not going to rate, you know, which one's more likely than others, but you can, you know, comment down below yourselves. But thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Chell. I'll kill you on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an all-fantastic day.